working on putting some steel up. Yesterday we worked most of the afternoon at putting some more trusses up. I think we got six of them up in a few hours that we were working. And now we're able to get about seven sheets of steel up. So we're working at putting steel up as we go. So we have Mackenzie and Ethan up on the roof. They're um, setting the sheet of steel in place and then screwing it down. Kevin and I are handing the sheets up to them. So we're making it work. Sanders is off for the whole week. He is at a youth camp with our church and he is out camping in a tent. So he's having fun uh, up north here in Michigan. He's up north away. So hopefully he's having fun. Cool nights, but uh, it's beautiful. Beautiful days. Oh, I'm, I'm needed. working hard sun trusses. Look at this. Oh yeah. We got Ethan and Sydney up on the roof. Dad's driving Skytrack. Sanders is doing the gopher kind of stuff. And I'm marking and measuring and doing all the other stuff. So, look at this man. He's like six foot one now. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Uh huh? Working hard. Ethan's sitting up there like a green bean in a basket. I'll get it. We are officially halfway, just over halfway actually, now that we just set this truss. So that's exciting. We have six more trusses to go. And then we're done. So we put up, how many did we put up today? 14. 14 trusses. That's good. Tomorrow we should be able to finish those six up. And yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good to be done putting trusses up. So on Mackenzie's days off from work at the salon, she's been putting up these two by fours that go across just so we can hang up our, our steel. So she's been working at that. She's got a little ways to go, yeah, on this end. The other side, you can see those are gonna be just opening, opens, openings. There's seven openings. Um, to go in and out of. And there's the one that thought of everything. I thought of everything? Yeah, building the barn. Otherwise you wind up? No, probably not. You always talk about the stuff you want, but yeah. Not a hay barn. You wouldn't think of it? <laughs> well, maybe other kinds of barns, but... Other kinds of barns? Yeah, like animal barns. So, we're calling it a night. You can see the sun is starting to set. The video cam the camera doesn't do justice. It's so pretty. And a lot of you ask about the wildfires, if we can see the haze, and yeah, we can see haze almost every single day. It's just hazy.
kind of chilly. That wind is like... pipe today we're gonna do another run we're gonna bring it this way uh what is that four eight 120 feet because <laughs> i think that's about what the span is 120 feet uh is what that irrigated you can see yesterday what we did it's a little bit darker but it's pretty much all soaked in real well so i'm gonna lay a few more pipes this way and then move the reel Watch your expert backing up skills. Smile! Slowest backer ever in history. Oh, I probably better grab that pen. I don't know how to hook this thing up, so I just leave it. Okay. All 
ready to go. doing um, this field is kind of like an angle each way and so what we're gonna do to get all this angle without throwing water through the trees as I call it we reverse the we take these uh, stoppers yeah stoppers which kick it back and forth and we change them that way the gun will go down here and then through this area. Yep. And then it'll water. So basically it waters back on its own line. Oops. Parking brake didn't hold. <laughs> so basically it waters on its own line. So, so it'll run this way. And then it'll flip. And then I'll go back to this side. And flip. And then I'll you'll do that for a while and then you'll we'll come do back. Like the first 150 foot and then we'll switch it back. Looks like we got a good soaking. So yesterday you tried putting about an inch on? Yeah, that looks like it got down well. Yeah. yeah. That'll be good. I the seeds will get Yeah, seeds will come out. Mama had her baby out in pasture, so now we have to bring it home. Guess we're gonna put it on the flatbed. Put it in the back of the truck. Yeah, Ron will hold it. Well, it's drinking right now, or it was. <laughs> yeah, it's drinking. So, do we interrupt it? Oh my! Watch out! They're yeah. excited. Yeah. The irrigation is running. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Irrigation running. They're milking right now. We got we're tub grinding uh, hay. Sydney's working at that. So we'll get the baby back and look at he's trying. Yeah. if she'd follow. Okay, we're here. Okay, we're in the birthing pen. And we have to now sort mom out. She came running up to the barn along with everybody else. So we're going to sort her out real quick. And mommy and baby are now reunited.
If everything turns out and works as planned, today is our final day of setting the trusses. We have five more to go. We just set, we just set our first one for today. It's a, it's a warm one today. It's gonna be in the 90s this afternoon. Uh, so hopefully this goes pretty quickly and we can get it done before we all get super hot. Here's a rundown on everybody's jobs. This is Sandra's job. He marks these and cuts them um, to length and then he places screws in them so that, so that they're ready to go for the guys up on the trusses. And then the guys, all they have to do is screw them in place, line them up. I prepare the trusses, so every two feet I put a mark. Um, like you can see right here, I just did this one. And then I remove any nails that uh, that shouldn't be there, because these are used trusses. And then we hook it up and hook a string to it so I can guide it. Kevin's the Skytrack runner, so that's his job, and he also helps um, give the guys boards or lines anything up and he makes sure everything is level. And Sydney and Ethan are up on the trusses. They put the trusses in place and then they screw down all the purlins. Just set the last truss, so that's a good feeling. Still got a lot of purlins to go up through the center. They only put up so many, so we could just keep going with the trusses. It's kind of windy here today, but it feels good because it's hot. <laughs> 